when we use the term principles, you know, the, a lot of times when people hear the word principles, they think good ideas. Like, here are the principles of having a tidy house, you know, put things away right after you've used them and uh, clean up messes as soon as you've made them and, you know, make sure you've got big cupboards or whatever. The, the, those are the principles of having a tidy house or, or uh, the principles of running a successful business, you know, uh, approach a, a market with a product that, be, you know, so it's more like good ideas. But when we're talking about the three principles that Sidney Banks articulated, he wasn't talking about good ideas. He was using the term principles more in the sense of like scientific principles. So like the principle of gravity. The principle of gravity isn't an idea. The principle, when we talk about the principle of gravity, we're, we're describing something that's already there. Like, you know, if I, if I let go of this glasses case, you can predict with a great degree, my guess is you can predict with a great degree of accuracy what's gonna happen. You know, it, it drops down and, and some, someone might say, well, I don't believe in gravity. We'd be like, fine. You know, <laughs> you get, it, gravity, the pr principle of gravity doesn't care whether you believe it or not. Yeah. And it's completely, it's completely, uh, universal and disinterested. So if I if I dropped a, a Pulitzer Prize winner out my window, gravity doesn't make any exceptions for the fact that they're a very gifted journalist or whatever. Uh, it 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 does the gravity thing. It works the same way for everyone. There are no exceptions. It's like a law of nature. So when we use the word principles uh, in this context. What we're pointing to is a, a law, of, you could say a law of nature, uh, uh, and a, law, a, a set of laws of our human nature. So when people ask me what, what are the principles behind clarity, I'll often say it, it's just a way of describing our innate capacity to have an experience, to, to experience the world, to, to learn, to... Uh, uh, experience mental clarity and high performance and uh, well-being and connection. If they say, okay, what are these principles? What I, what I explain is that the three principles that Sid Banks articulated, uh, and he talked about them as mind, thought, and consciousness, but he was always clear to point out that those words, mind, thought, and consciousness, they're just metaphors yeah. for... Uh, for something. And, and if pressed, he would say, really, there's just one principle, which is, which is mind, which is the intelligent energy of all things, whether in form or formless. So, so these, these three principles, mind, thought, and consciousness, they're just a way, a way of describing something so that our intellects can kind of hang it on something. Yeah. So, if I was if I was to describe, I'd say, well, I, I think about thought uh, as the uh, the reality principle. You know, we 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 have the power uh, to create a perceptual experience and then experience is the, experience it as though it's real. So, as you look around wherever you're listening to this. Uh, whether you're in a room or in the outdoors or whatever, everything you can see around you, you know, whether it's trees or walls or other people or whatever, your experience of them is being generated from within, real time, moment to moment to moment. And I know it doesn't look like that's what's going on. It looks to us, it seems to us, it genuinely seems to us like we're looking out through little windows in our head at a world out there, right? But there are no windows in your head. Your brain is in a sealed, darkened container called the skull. And what's really going on is data is pouring in through your sensory systems. And then the brain is going, what must be out there for me to be receiving this data? And then we create a perceptual reality. And it's happening right now. To me, this is one of the most shocking facts about being human, you know. 
you're walking around in an internally generated perceptual reality that looks, sounds, and feels like an actual reality. It's being generated from within. Uh, and so thought is the power that's creating that. And then consciousness brings that to life. So it gives us a, a felt, uh, a perceptual experience of that reality. So I'll sometimes say, you know, you're living in the experience of the principle of thought taking form in the moment. But I should be clear, the principle of thought isn't thoughts and thinking. It's, a, it's a, the power that's creating a reality. So it's, it's, a, it's a formless energy. It's an intelligence. So when I say you're living in the experience of the principle of thought, taking form in the moment. Another way of saying that would be to go, you're, you're living in the feeling of the intelligent energy behind life taking form in the moment. Or you might say, if someone says, I don't like that, you might say, you're living in the experience of God breathing life into reality moment by moment, real time, right now. You might say, you know, you're... you're uh, you're living in the experience of a divine intelligence, creating reality moment to moment. Here's the cool thing. You're always living in the feeling of the principle of thought taking form in this moment. And what that means is You're feeling something that's happening right now. It may seem like you're feeling something that happened last week or something that's going to happen six months from now, or that you're feeling what another person said to you or your bank balance or your waist size or any number of things. But the fact is you're living in the feeling of an internally generated perceptual reality, moment to moment to moment. And when people wake up to the truth of that, they often fall, fall awake to the present and to who they really are. You know, I, I often say that I, I believe the two most valuable things a person can discover are how their experience is being created and who they really are. And who you really are is consciousness itself. There's another way of saying who you really are is the intelligent energy behind life. You know, there's a, a quote by a guy called Tilard Desjard, Desjardins who said, we're not human beings having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual beings having a human experience. I, I paraphrase that a little differently. The way I put it is, we're not human beings having a spiritual experience. We're one spiritual being having seven billion human experiences. And who you really are is that one spiritual being. Same here. <laughs>